Well, hello everybody, happy Friday. You know, I have some really great viewers and I wanna thank you all for being so kind to me, so nice, so supportive, and I'm glad that you enjoy watching these silly videos of mine because I enjoy making them. Now, today we have a couple of shout outs and we've got a viewer-sponsored shave of sorts. Now, there's a young lady named, uh, who I call Girl Alex, who uh, hangs out in the live streams that I do sometimes. And she's originally from Bulgaria. She lives in Chicago now. But she decided to send me a care package. And in that package was some Bulgarian shaving cream. I had no idea this stuff existed. It's called Kapo, or Kapo, please, Girl Alex. Uh, phonetically tell me in the uh, in the comments how I'm supposed to actually pronounce I'm gonna say capo, but this is a Bulgarian shaving cream. Did you know that Bulgaria had its own shaving cream line? They do, and here it is. Let's see how it shaves today. I'm gonna use the uh, the signature Sinatra Lennon brush, which is available on AliExpress from DS Cosmetics, and I'm gonna shave with the old Rockwell, the Rockwell 6S with a brand new feather blade, not a, not a single feather blade like the one in the one blade, no, we're going to use the, uh, the double-sided blade today. And guess what? I, I'm not going to show you now. I'll keep it over here. I'll keep it on the DL. I hope, I'm just going to say I hope I get some razor burn today. I hope I get some nicks. You know what I mean? You know what I have over here? Okay, anyway. I took a shower, did my hair, and I'm going to put some hot water on my face. Now, from what I can tell, this Capo shaving cream, here's the box. It says couple all over it. It's a little tube, a little kind of a plastic tube. So what I do with these kind of shaving creams is I face lather by smearing some onto the brush and then lathering on my face as you would when you call it a face lather. So this, bre this brush is all wet. It's the synthetic brush. So it's ooh, squirting water all over the place. So what I do is I don't like to use a bowl. So I just put a little bit of shaving cream on top, kind of like like on a toothbrush. And then what I do is I put the cap back on because that's the right thing to do. <laughs> and then I smear it around on the edges so it kind of gets all over, all right? So that's what I do. Then I'm gonna get a little bit more water and just sprinkle it on top. Like I said, I got water on my face. I got water all over the phone when I just did that with the brush. And uh, hopefully you can still see me. And I'm gonna just face leather and see what, ooh, whoa, this stuff is thick. Holy cow, I think I need more water. It's almost like I need more water, but I don't need more water. It's both thick and also running down my hand and my neck and everything else onto the floor, into the sink, all over. All right, I, I, well, maybe I'll use a little bit more. Hold on. This stuff is thick. And what does it smell like? Hold on. Let me see if it has a scent. This scent is, well, it just says shaving cream with linden. Um, so what is linden? Can you tell me? Tell me what linden is. This is one of those videos where I didn't do a lot of research because I was planning on doing another set of products, but Amazon has not delivered it yet. I was waiting, I've been checking all day, but I'll tell you what, this stuff is rich and thick and creamy. It's kind of like Taylor of Old Bond Street creamy, and you know that stuff doesn't get much creamier. But it's got like just a pleasant scent. It's almost, um, it's not really floral, uh, it's not medicinal. Um, it's a little bit floral. I guess that's how I, it's just a rich, creamy, fl lightly floral. So that's good. I don't like real strong, uh, real strong scented shaving cream. So let's give it a try with the old Rockwell. See how slick it is? We know how thick it is. Now let's see how thi slick it is. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't know. All right. Oh, I tell you what, man. I know I've said this before. I know I have, and I'll say it one more time right now and then later on, I'm sure. You cannot beat the combination of a Rockwell razor and a brand new feather blade because this is shaving through my whiskers like butter, like butter. Okay, shout outs. Two shout outs today. One, I just received an email, a very, very nice email. And that's kind of what prompted my greeting today from a gentleman named Simon, who said he's been uh, having some, you know, some, some going through some stuff lately, and he said that watching my videos helped him out. So Simon, I'm so glad of that. You know, anytime I hear someone say that, you know, just watching one of my videos has helped them in some small way, I'm really gratified. So thank you, Simon. Thanks for sending me that email. I appreciate it. 
it's always good to hear from folks who like <laughs> to watch <laughs> that old weirdo shave. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that weird. Come on. I'm not that weird. And the second shout out goes out to Nathaniel Harker. Shout out to Nathaniel Harker. He asked for a shout out and there you go, buddy. I write them down so I can remember them. But like I said, I don't want it to turn out into like a giant shout out show. You know how those are. Oh, I'd like to thank all the Patreon sponsors and I'm gonna read every single one of them, starting with Aaron. And No, so. <laughs> but every now and then it's nice to, uh, to say hello and, cause I know there have been, you know, a few podcasts and a couple of YouTube videos where I've, you know, sent something in or commented and they've said my name aloud. And it's like, oh, he said my name aloud. That's cool. In fact, the coolest one. Now you guys know I like my scotch, right? There is a scotch reviewer, connoisseur, and seemingly all around good guy. His name is Ralphie, R-A-L-F-Y. He lives on the Isle of Man. And uh, if you send in what, what he calls a malt mention, so malt, you know, scotch is made from uh, malted barley. And if you send in this funny little malt mention, he'll say your name. So I did, this is years ago now, and he said my name. He said, oh my gosh. So that was so cool. So yeah, I know it, I know it's cool to, to have, uh, you know, one of the people that you admire on, you know, a podcast or radio even, or say your name out. So there you go. Okay. I'll tell you what, this stuff is slick. Now, when I say slick, you know, you hear a lot about like, what's the slickness? Is it slick? Is it, <laughs> it means it feels like it leaves a, just a bit of a film on your skin as you're shaving and doesn't dry up immediately and then take off. And you know, there's some, ooh, I got a little, oh, I got a nick. Oh, I'm so happy to get a nick. I can't tell you. You'll see why in a minute. That was not intentional. I'm not self-harming, don't worry. <laughs> but anyway, this does have a residual slickness to it. I think I need some more water. This is really thick stuff and I think I put too much on there, so. Ah, oh, there we go. But this does have the equivalent of Taylor of Old Bond Street. Uh, foaminess, creaminess, and ease of lather, it's great. So thank you, girl, Alex. Thank you for all the other wonderful things you sent me in that care package. Of course, you know I have to mention it. You didn't send me the one thing, the one thing we were talking about. <laughs> She's got this like insane, uh, I think it's Bulgarian, like a, a, a liquor. It's like this clear, like ever clear kind of stuff that, but she's afraid to, <laughs> she's afraid to mail it because it might explode on the plane. It's like, whoa, I gotta try that stuff. But oh yeah, you see that little, see the blood down there? Going against the grain here, because I can do that. Now, if you watch the unboxing video of the uh, one blade razor, that is not the Norelco one blade. That is a whole other thing. I, you know, I didn't even realize that when I was doing that video that the Norelco one blade, I mean, I knew the Norelco one blade existed, but I didn't realize that, you know, this is a one blade, Norelco has the one blade. It's like, how do they get around the, the copyright? Which came first, the one blade or the one blade? I don't know. But I'm gonna do, uh, I, I shaved with the one blade yesterday. I'm not gonna tell you about it because that's a surprise for next, probably next Friday. I wanna give it a week. I'm not doing it today, obviously. I'm shaving with the Rockwell. But I'm gonna learn as much as I can about it and then tell you about it. It's definitely a luxury razor item. It's kind of like somebody mentioned in the comments, was like, that's way out of my price range. And you know, it's out of my price range too. I, I would never purchase a $199 razor, but that's me. There are plenty of people out there that wouldn't blink at that. And it's the same type of thing when I was uh, conversing in the comments with the fella. It's like, uh, I liken to, you know, I can't afford, uh, you know, a brand new Corvette or a Rolls Royce, but I sure want to test drive one, you know? I sure want to test drive one. And so I feel like I'm getting the chance to test drive something that I would never normally get to do. So. That's how we'll frame that. Okay, ooh. I hope I get a few more nicks up on my, uh, up on my face somewhere. 
Have you guessed yet what I've got that I'm excited to use that every single wet shaver in the world is, is like, why are you excited about that, you nerd? <laughs> Leave a comment. I know I can't hear you, but I can feel what you're typing right now. But, uh, you know, I've got a styptic pencil, which is uh, something you use to, to stem the flow of blood when you have shaving nicks. Well, this thing I purchased does the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's all I'll say for now. I can say no more. Second pass. We get a check here. Oh, you know, it's good stuff. Got to go up that way on my cheeks. Yep. Got to do it. Put some more water up on my face. That Nick didn't st Oh, it stopped bleeding already. Oh, no. Maybe this Bulgarian, was it, Capo, has some healing properties. Or maybe it's my magical <laughs> Diaz Cosmetics brush. DS Cosmetics brush is not magical. But thanks to everybody who said they purchased one of these brushes from them. I got an email from May over at DS Cosmetics and she was very pleased that people were buying it. Well, that's good, you know. Makes the world go around. So the weekend, we got a double birthday party here at my house tomorrow. Double birthday party. My son, is having two birthday parties on the same day. Two, why, why two? Why two? That's my question. No, um, the, the first one, I'm gonna go up against and across, and it, you'll see, you'll see. He's having his baseball team come in first for a couple hours, and if you could see out the window here that's just above me over this side, you can see out in the backyard that we have a bouncy house, which is also a water slide bouncy house. So that's going to be madness. So please, uh, I'll be ready for a, a glass of scotch at the end. I could have really used that Bulgarian liquor tomorrow night, girl Alex. So his baseball team is gonna come first and then all of his school classmates are gonna come later in the afternoon because you can't mix the two. You can't mix the, the, the two worlds can't collide. And if you get that Seinfeld reference, then kudos to you. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we got. And as soon as they get home from school today, they're, they're, they've already set it up. The people delivered it and inflated it. So we get to play with it tonight. I'm sure I'll be out there at midnight, just having a great time. All by myself. People will be calling the cops. There's a crazy man in his backyard going down the water slide. I think he's naked. No, don't worry, I'm not gonna do that. You can see right through our, our backyard fence. I don't have that kind of privacy. Not that I would even if I could, you know, could, but. <laughs> All right. Did I tell you what aftershave I'm gonna use today? Like I said earlier, I was gonna use this whole setup of shaving products. I'll use it on Monday. I'll use it, you'll see, it's coming on Monday, so don't worry about it. But it's all one brand. The razor, the uh, shaving cream, and the blades. Now, I don't think they make aftershave. I should look into that, dang it, I didn't think about that. But the main ones will be the razor, the blades, and the uh, shaving cream. All from one company, so I'm gonna try that out. I wanted to do it today, Amazon did not deliver. I guess they wanted me to pay extra if I really wanted to get that thing today. It's probably sitting in the mailbox right now as I speak, of course. Probably distracted with the guys sitting at the bouncy house in the backyard. All right. I didn't get any more nicks. You know why? I should use my 59 Fat Boy, the grungy one. Grandpa Grungy always bites me. I almost never get nicks with this Rockwell, and even if I do, look, they just stop themselves. Man, I tell you. The Rockwell 6S, this is expensive too. This is a hundred bucks, you know. So I didn't pay for this. They sent this to me a few years ago. Even I wouldn't, I, I, I can't bring myself to spend that much. I can't, but I, I'm very fortunate that people have uh, uh, seen fit to send me these things or else I never would have known. Oh man. It even, like whatever, whatever I'm doing, <laughs> whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it right today. My shaving game is on point today because I even got the problem spots which normally left this and this. That, and there's still some left I'm not going to bother with. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. All right, rinse. 
Rinse, rinse, rinse. Cold water. Oh man. They've already got all the uh, Halloween decorations in the stores now. It's still 100 degrees here. It's gonna be 100 degrees for the next month, I'm sure. So no pumpkin spice anything for me yet. Not till October, not until the uh, temperature dips below 95. Then I feel okay. All right, uh, what did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah, now wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna use it first. An alum block, that's what I got, the secret surprise. A Gentleman John fights razor burn. Gentleman John alum block. I have never had one, I've never used one. I see people use it. What you do is, you, it's like a big crystal of alum. Has no scent, so I'm gonna get it wet on one side, and then I'm just gonna go over my face with it. I was afraid it was gonna sting, and it stings a little bit. It's, what would you say? It's not an astringent, because that means it cleans your skin. It just kind of, uh, uh, <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what exactly it does. I'm not that kind of a shaving channel. <laughs> I'm more about uh, just, just wrapping. You know, like the kids say, Back in the 70s, do you remember when rapping didn't mean like rap, it meant just talking? Hey kids, let's rap. Hello fellow young people. Osage rub. Yeah, that kind of stings a little bit. But, you know, I didn't have any nicks. Now I really don't have any nicks. And now it's time to put this on, see if this stings. Remember the first time I used this stuff? Go back and watch that video. Because I was so... <laughs> It took me by surprise so much that I actually washed it off as soon as I put it on. And no more, folks. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it burns so good. Not too bad. Oh. And then I rub the excess on my shoulder and my arms. And I just kind of feel tingly all over afterwards. That was weird. Remind myself never to do that again. All right, folks. Well... Thanks again, girl Alex, for the capo, the capo. A capo is what you use on a guitar to uh, up and down the neck to change the, the key or whatever it does. I know how to use that, I just don't know what it does. Like everything, what I, I'm full of just almost not knowledge. Thanks again, girl Alex, for this. And uh, everybody look out for Monday because I'm gonna have that, hopefully, I'll have that uh, three, three, three things in one from one company. My eyes are burning from the Osage. Feels good. And the alum did whatever alum does. Shout out again to Simon and Nathaniel Harker. And thanks for everybody for watching. Thanks for all your comments. And I got some more stuff coming in from other viewers, including one gentleman who makes his own soap. So he's going to be sending that to me. I'll talk a little bit about that. But uh, very kind of all of you. And thanks a lot. I hope you have a good weekend. Um, you know, keep me in your thoughts uh, for this double birthday party tomorrow. And uh, as long as I don't have my arm in a sling from sliding down this water slide bouncy house in the backyard, I'll be back on Monday to shave. And I'll see you then. Bye, everybody.